I didn't get where I am today selling ice creams, tasting of bookends, Palmerston, and West Germany. Of course you didn't. CJ, I wanted to see I'll come you. straight to the point. I didn't get where I am today by waffling. Uh, no. Changing room. Changing room? Yes. I, I just remembered where I'd met Campbell Lewiston before, CJ. Uh, we were at school together. He bit me in the changing room. <laughs> Campbell Lewiston? Yes. Are you sure? I find that out. I didn't get where I am today biting people in the changing room. I... Careful, Reggie. I didn't get where I am today by saying, yeah, we can set a thank you. Yes, sorry. I didn't get where I am today, CJ, without posting furtive letters through your front door. <laughs> the river is public property and should not be in private hands. The fish are not yours to kill, nor are your employees. Possessions bring misery. Absolute possessions bring absolute misery. P.S. Blood will flow. <laughs> Some crank. Uh, I didn't get where I am today without getting letters from cranks. I was just thinking, poor old Reggie. Only a month ago, he was no further from me than you are now. Mm. It's made me wonder what life's all about. I don't like it. I didn't get where I am today wondering what life's all about. Mm. There's not much fun, you know, in a job like mine. You amaze me. I didn't get where I am today without knowing there's no fun in getting where I am today. <laughs> Martin? CJ! Got lipstick on your face. Absolutely. Ooh, what am I saying? <laughs> Careful, Martin. I didn't get where I am today by having lipstick on my face. Certainly not, CJ. Only rumour, of course, but you know what they say. There's no smoke without the worm turning. <laughs> what appetites, CJ? Well, let us say his liking for older women. Yeah. Not that your wife is an older woman, exactly. <laughs> but he's always cheating after Dolly Birds. A front. I didn't get where I am today without recognising a front when uh -huh. I see one. <laughs> Dear sir, thank you for your complaint about our soggy sponges. It makes the 11th this week. <laughs> the explanation is simple. Frankly, our sponges are soggy. The fault lies in your customers for buying overpriced, oversweet, unhealthy, synthetic rubbish. <laughs> Did you write that, Elizabeth? Yes. Why? It's the truth. We wouldn't last a week if we told the truth. <laughs> but I didn't get where I am today by telling the truth. <laughs> Disaster, Tony. Absolute disaster. I didn't get where I am today without recognizing Reggie Perry Mercy. <laughs> In fact, it has been a wonderful year for Grot. And our European division, Eurogrot, is making very promising inroads. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get where I am today without recognizing promising inroads when I see them. Quite. We have built a Eurogrot distribution center in Luxembourg and a fleet of super lorries. Super. Exactly. <laughs> These are called Grot Masters and are even now ensuring that no part of that lovely continent which is Europe is without its little bit of Grot. Great. Who no, knows what? <laughs> However, despite this success, I have heard one or two criticisms about some of my recent appointments. Uh, one comment, I don't know who said it, and it doesn't really matter who, was I didn't get where I am today by having Irish labourers promoted over my head. <laughs> Always pays to make them wait. Nine, ten, come! <laughs> ah, CJ, come in, come in. Good to see you, good to see you. Do sit down, CJ. Thank you, Richard. Uh, oh. <laughs> New chair, most embarrassing, CJ. Right. <laughs> the perils of buying British. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Cigar, CJ. Oh, uh, help yourself. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we meet in altered circumstances, CJ. We do indeed. Mm. The slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. I couldn't have put it better myself. The night is darkest before the storm. Precisely. Yes. I didn't get where you are today without knowing the night is darkest before the storm. <laughs> Good idea, CJ. Uh, so do I. Uh, Joe, take a letter, will you? To the manager of the grot shop Ebervale near Hamburg, Welsh Wales. Dear sir, it has come to my notice you've been serving Welsh people in your shop. I wouldn't have thought I had to tell you this. I want no more Welsh people served from now on. Yours, etc. Yucky Dot. Right. Have you got that, Joe? <laughs> Fine idea, Reggie. What's that, CJ? Not serving Welsh people. I didn't get where I am today by serving Welsh people. Yeah. Mm -hmm.